Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart project. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create repository for the order detail and the order header section and also uh, add uh, that repository in the unit of work class. And after that, we will work on your uh, on your cart controller. So just wait for some times and uh, create a new class that is order header class. In order header, we have some properties like uh, order header is actually related to the customer and customer details and the product details and not uh, going to the product details actually, it's uh, related to the courier detail and the tracking details also. So uh, date of shipping, date of order and uh, date of uh, order total, that is the part of your order header. Date of order, uh, date of shipping, date, uh, order total, what is the total of the order and uh, the next thing is you can add you can do this you can add uh, into the project that is order status payment status tracking number that is the number uh, order total order status payment status tracking number is also you can add it here and the next thing just uh, and the next thing is carrier and session id and the payment intent id uh, that is created by the stripe method okay so uh, here we have a uh, some properties uh, in a order header class okay so uh, actually carrier is uh, where your shipment uh, carried and uh, generate a number like the carrier number you can say and the tracking number is also mentioned it uh, one by one according to the carrier so order total is mentioned it here order status uh, and uh, payment status order status is actually a enumeration value where you can say that the pending values uh, order pending order success order in process and uh, on order successful and uh, these are the uh, enumerations in uh, you can say add it in the order status so due date is also mentioned phone number address city state and postal code so order header is actually related to the order as well as the uh, customer okay so uh, the all things uh, is included in the order header that is related to the customer as well as uh, order but in the order detail page you can say order detail page is actually related to the product okay the next thing you can do uh, in with the order header that is order header is actually added into the data context class as well as you can create for the order header that is repository so uh, create an interface for the order header uh, and the make a um, interface with the public and these uh, unimplemented uh, method you can add in the i order header repository i uh, i repository with the order header so just resolve uh, the namespace first of all and you can add these methods in the order header i order header repository so here we have i repository with the uh, order header uh, so i order uh, header repository is implemented with the i repository that is the gener generic repository uh, with the uh, order header class and here we have a uh, three methods update update status and payment status so update status we have a order status and the payment status similarly with the payment status session id and the payment intent id so uh, you can implement that interface with the class uh, order header repository class so that's fine and order header repository is implemented with the i repository as well as uh, i order header repository uh, because a generic class is used to uh, implement uh, these class because uh, already existing some methods you can use with the generic repository and uh, some additional method you can add with the i order header repository so uh, implemented with the repository of i order header sorry uh, repository with the order header class and uh, the next thing is i order header repository with the repository class okay so here we have application db context and application db context is used to uh, create uh, logics between the uh, database and the tables so here we have and the application db, co uh, db context class initialize it in, in the constructor also and also uh, initialize uh, in the base constructor 
and here we have a payment status class uh, payment status method sorry and with the payment status we have a id session id and the payment intent id so update that uh, that method uh, call uh, by the call when your payment is done okay so you can uh, you can uh, take session id as well uh, payment intent id when the payment is successful and the status also changed okay so first of all update your data context class with the order header as well as order detail but order detail is not implemented so just make a comment again and the order header in the payment status method you can resolve the problem and first of all get the order header by using their order header id and uh, the change of the payment method uh, date as well as the payment intent id and the session id was also so date of payment payment intent id and session id and update in the update method we have a order header uh, method so just change it and up the update status we have a order status as well as the payment status and so order with the order header dot first of all first or default so in the order we have to check first of all order is not null then change the order status also mm, check the payment status if it's not null then change the payment status that as well as of the uh, order payment status now the next section is uh, order header is completed now the next section is going for the order detail page before going to the order detail page first of all resolve the unit of work for the order header so just open i unit of work first of all and uh, uh, uncomment the order header detail from the unit of work so just uncomment it and also save this and uh, just open unit of work that is implemented from the i unit of work class so just open it uh, i unit of work class sorry I unit of work repository and also uncomment uh, uncomment the order header details so just uncomment it uh, i order header repository with the order header repository so also uncomment it and that's fine now the next thing you can do with the order detail page so first of all create a new repository for the order detail page and also create a model for the order detail page order detail class and add a new repository and the repository name is i order detail repository and create an interface i order detail repository okay and uh, use this method in the i order detail repository first of all make public interface i order detail repository and add that method pub, um, order i order detail repository update with the order details so first of all create a new class for the order detail um, order detail uh, section now uh, the next section you can do with the order detail that is create a new class for the order detail so in the order detail uh, you can go for uh, class public class order detail and in the order detail you have some properties like uh, related to the uh, um, product so here we have id uh, that is order detail id order header id is also included so order header detail is actually included in the order detail okay so uh, in the next section you can see that this is that is a product id so product is also mentioned and the next thing is price count that is count is related to the quantity of the product so in the order detail we have uh, you can say that order detail page is actually hold uh, some order header id uh, some uh, order header detail and uh, and the product details also okay so uh, resolve your order detail uh, section in the i order header i order detail repository section of the interface in the repository section and after that implement uh, repository for the order detail 
and also uncomment in the i note of work for the i order header uh, order detail repository and unit of work resolve uh, i order detail repository as well as also resolve that method order detail page that is not implemented yet but uh, just few second after we can uh, add that class add that repository in the repository section so made uh, class that is order detail repository okay so implement that class uh, and uh, uh, make it more feasible with the class order detail repository repository of the order detail and i order um, detail page i order detail repository and uh, the i order detail repository with the inherited from the application db context class and initialize that application db context class with the context and update that method order detail and use context class order detail dot update order with the order detail actually order detail is not uh, implemented in the data context class so just open the data context class and uh, uncomment the section of order detail just open application db context class and you can see that internally set uh, that is order detail is internally set but make it comment and uncomment the public uh, get set order detail page so that's fine and the next section is going for first of all save these all this section and after that make the controller for the card the whole thing is clear and the next section is going for the controller class and in the controller class you can say the card controller the name of the controller is card controller okay so that's fine thank you very much